is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE Extreme Rules 2020 predictions video or should I say the horror show at Extreme Rules 2020 predictions video. Now there isn't too many matches on this card but there is a fair few so without further ado let's get right into it. Okay, so kicking things off, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match between the champions, the New Day, Big E and Kofi Kingston, defending their titles against the wrestling purist Cesaro and the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, um, Nakamura and Cesaro sort of held the titles up last week. They picked the stipulation last night, and because of that, I've got the New Day winning. So this is, a, in fact, a tables match, and obviously... There's, I'm sure you all know what that is, but if you don't, basically you have to put your opponent through a table to win. And I think, honestly, the New Day are going to hold the Tag Team Championships going into SummerSlam because I feel like if they're going to do a title change, they should do it at SummerSlam. I feel like this is a show where there isn't going to be many um, title changes at all. In fact, um, you know, I, I feel like if... The pay-per-view before a big one is always a tricky one because you can either have a title change now and then also have a title change at SummerSlam or you can just hold off. It's a really tricky one. These are always hard to predict. But anyway, I'm going off track. The New Day to retain. Next up, we have the United States Championship match. MVP bringing out the new United States Championship and he will be facing the current champion. Now, don't get confused here. Just because MVP has the new belt doesn't mean he's the champion. Apollo Crews is still US champion. Apollo Crews will be coming out, and I believe this will be the last time we ever see the old United States Championship. So, Apollo defending the US title against MVP. I have got Apollo Crews retaining. Moving on. Next up, we have the SmackDown Women's Championship match. Bailey taking on Nikki Cross. I don't care about this match. Bailey's retaining. Okay, so following on from that, we have the Raw Women's Championship match. Now, this should be really good. Asuka versus Sasha Banks. However, unfortunately, I am going with the Empress of Tomorrow, the current Raw Women's Champion, Asuka, to retain the championship. Okay, so I'm going to address this match here because we're still very unsure whether it's actually going ahead or not. Apparently... And I haven't been following this too closely, but the website I'm getting my predictions on, it doesn't say it's here. It says it as a maybe, so it's not a confirmed. We could be getting a bar fight between Sheamus and Jeff Hardy. If so, I've got Jeff Hardy winning. I don't know what the bar fight would be. Is it just a brawl in a bar? A bit like SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 or whichever game it was where you could fight in a pub. Um, but yeah, a, a bar brawl, bar fight, Jeff Hardy's going to win. Okay, so now we have a very, very interesting stipulation for a match. Rey Mysterio versus Seth Rollins, an eye for an eye. And basically, apparently, the, uh, the way you win this match is by literally removing your opponent's eye. What the hell? What the hell? How on earth are they going to do this? I've seen rumours that it's going to be CGI. Um, but either way, I've also heard that Rey Mysterio's contract is actually up and he hasn't yet signed a new deal. So, literally, specifically on that information alone, I'm going with the Monday Night Messiah. And you know what? I never bet against Rollins. So, it's not just that. I would have picked Rollins anyway. Monday Night Messiah, Seth freaking Rollins to take out Rey Mysterio's eye. Okay, so next up we have the WWE Championship match. The current WWE Champion, Drew McIntyre, defending his championship against his old tag team partner, his old rival, Dolph Ziggler. Now, there is no question at all here that Drew McIntyre is 100% leaving with the WWE Championship. I've heard it may be rumoured that he could potentially be facing Randy Orton for the WWE title at SummerSlam, and Randy could possibly dethrone him. So... It's definitely not going to be Dolph. Dolph is just that guy that always gets so close but just slips at the last minute. And I think that's the history of Dolph's career. I, if I'm honest, as bad as that sounds, that sums him up completely. He's the guy that never made it. And he's not going to make it to the WWE Championship here either. So I have got Drew McIntyre retaining. Let's move on to the main event. Okay, so for the main event of the evening, we have the WWE Universal Champion, the Monster Among Men, Braun Strowman, non 
title. He's not defending his championship in this match, but he is taking on the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt, not the Fiend, not Funhouse Bray, the Bray we all know and love, the Bray that WWE seriously dropped the ball with a few years ago. Uh, Eater of Worlds Bray, my favourite version. Oh, I love The Fiend, but you know, you can't beat the original Bray Wyatt. And he's going to be facing him in a swamp match. Now, this is very interesting. So, the way I view it, and if you listen to Strowman's Smack, uh, Smackdown promo, he says that if he doesn't beat Bray Wyatt, then he's going to have to face The Fiend. Uh, or he sort of inadvertently said that. So I've been predicting this anyway. It was normal Bray versus Braun at Money in the Bank. Eater of Worlds Bray, which is sort of the balance. So you've got good Bray, which is Funhouse Bray. Really evil Bray, which is the fiend. And then the balanced one in the middle, that's Eater of Worlds. And so obviously Eater of Worlds is next. Braun is going to lose and then face the fiend at SummerSlam, where the fiend Bray Wyatt will take back his WWE Universal Championship. That is my prediction. I predict Braun Strowman to lose this match because if Strowman wins, he would have beaten Bray twice, meaning there's no reason for the, the Fiend to face Strowman. And I definitely think they want to put the belt back on uh, back on the Fiend, at least until Roman gets back. So I have got Braun Strowman winning. No. So, I have got Braun Strowman losing the Swamp match. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was my WWE horror show, Extreme Rules. That is just not fun, not easy to say. The horror show at Extreme Rules 2020 predictions video. I will be watching the pay-per-view live, um, meaning, of course, there will be reaction videos. So look forward to them. And tell me what you think is going to happen in the comment section down below. What are your predictions for Extreme Rules this year? I've been Joe from Joe Dots Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you at the horror show.